Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Yoast plugin. And Yoast has a great new tool with AI to help you write meta descriptions and titles. Let's jump on in and see how this works. Okay, so here we have this new Yoast SEO Premium change log, and we can see that we've got this new generative AI. So I haven't run the update yet on this site, so let's go ahead and select both of these. So you've got to update the Yoast SEO to 21 and Yoast SEO Premium. This is a premium feature. So let's go ahead and update that. Cool, so that's all updated. So let's take a look here. We've got this one here that's, uh, let's take a look at this one. This one here's got a red star there, so we'll see what we can get out of this. So here I've got an article, um, and it says readability is okay and SEO needs improvement. So I'm gonna close off the SEMrush tool and look at Yoast SEO Premium and see what we have. So looking at this at this point in time, there doesn't seem to be anything there that's immediately changed. Readability, nothing kind of there. All right, so we've got SEMrush versus Screaming Frog should really be my focus keyword. So I'm gonna fix that up, so that's okay. And but yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything at all there about generating anything. I click improve, is there anything over here? No, no. Let's have a look at my readability. Sentence and all that sort of stuff's good. Yeah, it doesn't seem to really be any change at all, does there? So I can't see anything that's changed. Um, so let me just take this meta description out. So I'm just gonna take that just there and we'll go cut. Okay, so that's now not there. And I'll say update. Doesn't, that's inserting a variable, that doesn't seem to do anything. What's this smiley face do? emojis. I can't see anything so what I'm going to also do is just do a hard refresh on this page now and let's see if that brings anything up. So we're going to click again, improve with Yoast, we'll go down here. Anything there? Nope. Nope. So based on the first looks here, this SEO premium update, so it says introduce an AI description generator. Hmm. It's interesting. So let's have a look at the replace post and see what it says. So based on that initial update, can't really see anything um, that's changed. AI generator, how do I get to it? Yoast SEO uses AI, AI title generator. Doesn't seem to be much there. Okay. So let's have a look here into settings with the Yoast SEO. So we've got here, there's nothing there. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Settings, site features, here we go, let's enable this. So you gotta enable this AI title description generator. And then once that's enabled, which is interesting, because they didn't say that on here, and as far as I can see, that's not in here either. Um, although it may be inside the video, but there's no screenshot of that. So you need to make sure that you go to site features and enable the AI description generator first. Then, when I go to posts, let's go back to that Screaming Frog versus SEMrush post. I've got two orange symbols there, so that's obviously something that's gonna need a bit of a rewrite. And now we've got this new Use AI button. So let's just say Use AI, and I say I accept, and say Start Generating. Cool. 
Well, that's interesting. It's the expert tech analysis comparing Sam Russian Screaming Frog is exactly what it currently says. So, all right, we'll just leave that. And the interesting thing is, is that that is now left the variable in there and it's made a title that's red. Let me just cut that out. And paste it again. Yeah, it's too long. So expert tech analysis comparing Sam Rush and Screaming Frog. There we go. So that was interesting because the first time I've used the AI, it has recommended a SEO title that's too long. Let's now use AI for my meta description and see if this does any better. So it seems to default to the mobile results, which is interesting. I assume that's because that's my preview set up. So let's take a look at there here. So I'm gonna use that one, apply AI. Yeah, that's all gone green, so that's reasonably good. So I think the meta description's quite good. Um, and that seems to be an update on what I had before. So I'll just do update like that and that's done. So I think overall this works okay. So if you're looking at using this AI tool, it's better than having to write them all yourself. There's no doubt about that. Um, the instructions on turning it on, it's a bit hard to find. So make sure that you go into those settings and turn it on and you should be good to go. Well, I hope you got a lot out of that quick tip video from the team here at MRK. If you want more tips like that, why don't you subscribe to the channel? And if you've got any other questions, why don't you leave a comment below and I'll make a video about it. And I'll see you in the next one.